uh, apart from my ministry, I think have interaction with young people who would not just say amen to everything, but who interrogate truth to know it biblically is so important. Because we wrestle with ideas, and ideas have consequences. And ideas go with people in academia. Because when the Bible says you should love the Lord your God with all your mind, now that is so significant. You love him with all your mind. Now, that shows that, you see, we have to interrogate, even the truth. And that's why Paul, when he was talking to the Corinthians, was able to bring about two churches he planted. The churches in Thessalonica and the churches, the church in Berea. And this is the founder, the general overseer of a church, two churches. But he said one church was more noble than the other. Why? your church and he gave reason for that the Bereans they didn't just say amen with closed eyes they didn't say just amen because someone says say, say amen they didn't, they didn't just shout it because the pastor or the founder of the general says talking no after he has finished apostle has finished they will go back to scripture interrogate question is it biblical what he said is it really uh, something that the bible clearly explains is it, is it in line with scriptures and they will always peruse through what the apostle have taught and that was lovely if apostle Paul was an African pastor people going back to check on him right I think they, he would have cursed them who are you to <laughs> check my, my background or my scripture just believe Right? But he, he said these people were more noble, more noble than the Thessalonians. Why? The Thessalonians were saying, Amen, I receive it, it's mine. Once the apostle has spoken, you don't need to even check anything. I think now nah, we need to build noble churches. Amen. And I say that from experience. I've traveled around Africa. Almost 30 countries, training pastors all over. Africa is so blessed with too much resources. Too much. Because the resources we have, if Europe has that, they'll be in the sky. But in spite of all these resources, we continue to be the poorest of the continent. Then there's a dichotomy. The richest country sorry, continent is the poorest. This is a, a contradiction which people in academia, people who are studying in the university should interrogate. It's not normal to be very rich and still be poor. Again, scholars have said Africa, south of the Sahara, that is black Africa, is a, a, a heavily evangelized and scholars like Kwame Bediak, Professor Kwame Bediak all said Christianity has moved from the northern hemisphere that is from Europe, America, right to Africa, Asia and South America that's what they say Africa highly evangelized Ghana over 71% of the population claim to be Christians and yet the most evangelized continent is the most corrupt continent there's a contradiction beloved that's why if you're young people and you still continue the religiosity what Africans are doing is more religiosity than Christianity and so if you're just being religious and I will tell young people this is the type of Christianity we practice when we're young in the secondary school since form the university I mean at Legon we were the people with dad and all his bishops all of us were there and my mates are the managing directors, are the professors, and what and what. And yet, what do we see? Very corrupt country. Where is uh, the Pensa people, the SU people, the Aposa people, the Bassa? Where are they? So it is not just being involved in religiosity. I think it has come to a time, beloved, for us to take a very critical 
look of the type of Christianity we have. If not, your generation, you'll be worse. There'll be no hope. There will be hope only. And I have a book on that. Against all hope, hope for Africa. The only hope is the church. People of the church who will now think differently, who will want to behave differently, who will want to be agents, not of Christian, a type of African Christianity, who will be agent of change, agent of transformation. Then this continent, this country can move forward. If not, you should be questioning. Every place there is churches. Churches are all over. All over. You go to Morovia, the same. Go to Lagos, the same. Go to Ibadan, the same. Go to Togo, the same. Go to Kotonu. I mean, Christ churches are planted all over these uh, uh, countries. Very religious. Yet very corrupt people. People don't talk to one another. They hate one another. They discriminate. They pull one another down. Right? Greedy people. Selfish. Dishonest. And yet... They sing hallelujah. Beloved, this serial Christianity, we have to see. That's why the holistic ministry becomes so important for us. So when you choose a topic like this, Jesus, our model of growth, I think we should look at it holistically. Holistically, you have a way of spelling it as a CT holistic H. Globally, we don't use the H. Why? Because when you talk of holistic ministry in Africa, people start thinking of holiness, purity righteousness right and it's good for so-called spiritual people to be talking about issues of faith spirituality holiness righteousness. yes but then these same people corrupt right so what about religiosity present so we don't use h we use w holistic meaning wholeness totality we're christian right <laughs> totally from head to toe the way you see things, your heart, your actions, your behavior, your conduct should conform to one person called Jesus. It should be like him. And that's what we talk about when we talk about growth. Churches have a way of um, uh, teaching growth. Read the Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. So people read the Bible and pray every day. But some are thieves. Read the Bible and pray every day. They hate one another very corrupt. They read the Bible. So read the Bible praying is good, but there is a bad thing. It has to go beyond that. Beyond the reading of Bible and praying. Stand up and tell your story. Stand up and give God the glory. Talk of His amazing grace. Stand up and tell your story. Stand up and give God the glory. Yeah, His presence is in this place.